Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning today, thank you for joining me again. And I hope that you all are doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Be Alive by Beyonce. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Immediately, immediately, the message that I got for you all is that it, it's going to be really nice to be a Scorpio. Okay, you guys have some amazing transformations coming in for you. Um, some of you guys may feel like you're fighting some inner demons, but that's okay because the key word is fighting, which means you are you're, you're active in what's happening in your life. You're not just sitting down letting life happen to you. You are actually active, proactive, and you are in the midst of it, okay? You are present. And that's that goes back to the song, Be Alive. You are alive. You are here in this moment. You have tunnel vision. You get what I'm saying, Scorpio? Um, I'm seeing new money coming in for a lot of you all, positions. And I know this is a love reading, but I do have to put this out here. I'm seeing you had a lot of kings in your pre-shuffle, okay? Male or female, whatever it is, that's royalty. And typically, we have kings and queens when you're talking about your money in the workplace. That's someone who is getting promoted to a position, uh, to a position of leadership. Um, this is someone who has some type of um, status change because kings and queens hold a specific status, right? And so there's going to be a status change for a lot of you all. Also, kings and queens are always spouses, okay? So there's an energy that some of you all could be getting married or engaged this year also. Just put it out there. Don't say I didn't tell you in advance. You hear me? So let's see what we got get for you guys today. Any the pre-shuffle, you did have a lot, a lot of fire. Leo, Sag, Aries, and then also a little bit of Earth towards Virgo Capricorn. So let's see what we get for you guys, okay? Let's go ahead and change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifying deck. And you guys know as always, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Currently, bottom of the deck, absolutely. The moon card, things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about. A lot of you all don't even see this coming, but something is coming for you. If you notice right here, there's a crab under the water, but it's coming to the surface. Something is getting ready to come to the surface, and I don't feel like it's negative at all. Absolutely, it's going to come in quickly, okay? And I did say, <laughs> I said something's going to be coming in quickly, and I did say fire. Look at what you got right here, Queen of Pentacles. Didn't I say you had a lot of kings and queens? Money is on your side. Stability, because Pentacles talks about stability also. I also always say with this card, um... If you look at the background behind her, there's storm clouds there. And it's like she has everything she needs and more, but something that she something's very heavy on her mind. That's why those storm clouds are over her head. You may feel like things are hidden from you because this, this um, knight is head to toe in armor. And you can't see what he looks like, which means something is hidden. What I feel like is hidden is that something new is coming towards you, especially when it comes to money. Now, also, this could be some of you guys could be coming into contact with a earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, which I did mention earlier. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. There's mirrors for some of you guys this year. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with earth sign. So you got Taurus, a very strong Taurus here. Something could be coming in in Taurus season also. And then you have the major icon of the devil, Capricorn. A lot of earthy energy here. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that this is a karmic. You, some of you guys could be getting ready to marry a karmic, okay? A karmic partner. And karmic partners are not always negative. People always think that that's not true. I just feel like, okay, and I'm also getting that for some of you guys, there could be secrets that your person, or you could have dealt with someone in the past who was um sneaking around. Because, again, this is Playboy Playgirl, here for a good time, not a long time, in and out, hot and cold, for sure. Hmm. Definitely some type of secrecy. And as I'm doing this reading a couple days ago, we were in a new moon energy, right? Somebody may have um, did like some type of ritual to call in their love, their person, their companion, their husband, their wife. And they may have, this This could be coming in very quickly. Some of you guys could be very gifted manifestors. Yeah, some of you guys could be very gifted manifestors, Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and shuffle and go through the deck until we get you guys Major Arcanum, which will be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's go ahead and part the deck so we can shuffle. Six of Wands, Victory, and then also Major Arcanum, High Priestess, Piscean Energy. But more than anything, some of you guys, like I said, gifted manifestors. Some of you guys know how to call things in, and it's coming in very quickly for you. 
And remember, we just had the moon. Look right here on her hat. A moon. I'm telling you, some of you guys may have did some type of prayer or manifestation regarding love. I want you to see this key right here, right? The tip of the, or the base of the key is a heart. So some of you guys were praying and meditating over new love or to heal from some type of heartbreak because she does have this art around her eyes that looks like it could be tears, you know? Whatever it is, you call something in very quickly, okay? Let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana again. It would be the death card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Some of you guys are, it's definitely marriage on your mind. Could be involved in a Libra, doesn't have to be, but there's definitely an energy of a marriage. And I said that because you had the King, Queen of Pentacles, that's a pair. And then the Justice card is like the Justice of the Peace, matrimony, marriage contracts, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yes, a lot of y'all have called in new love. And if you didn't do any type of like ritual or prayer meditation for it, the universe called it in for you because it was due. It's, this is due. The universe is balancing the scales for you. This is karmic um, justice. And that's why I said if this is a karmic partner, I don't feel like it's negative. I feel like this is someone that the universe has called in for you. And you don't see it coming. Yeah. You do not see it coming. A lot of strong Libra energy here. Bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Look at that. New love is coming in, okay? You got the lovers card, and then you have six of swords. Some of you guys, it could be a June Gemini as the major icon of the lovers is Gemini energy. But also, the lovers card is talking about needing to make a choice or decision, especially when it comes to love. This person is moving either towards love or away from love. Some of you guys be moving away from a Gemini. <laughs> but there's definitely, you're moving towards marriage, okay? You have major icon of the hair of fonts that is Taurus energy. So some of you guys be getting engaged in tourist season. This person already has the keys to your heart. Or you could be getting, because you did have with that, that earthy energy, you had Taurus earlier with the Queen and King of Pentacles. And this is their major arcana. So some of you guys may be marrying a Taurus or someone with very strong Taurus in a chart. And again, I'm going to say, some of you guys could be getting engaged in tourist season, which will start in April. And it ends in May. You have Roman numeral V, May. So some of you guys could be getting engaged in May if you've been in a relationship for a while. You have two sixes here. The lovers is a six, and then you have a six of swords. Something could be happening in June also. So again, you have a time frame between um, April and June is what I'm getting. Because towards the season starts in April. So between April and June, some of you guys could be getting engaged, or you could be meeting someone that you're going to marry is what I'm getting as well. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys a major arcana. I want to make sure it wasn't the card stuff behind that. Again, we are going to get the death card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. And we're almost halfway through it. Well, we're more than halfway through the deck and we don't have your card yet. So this is a long time coming. Whenever that, you know, it takes a while to get to your card, that means something was a long time coming. Yeah, it's been a long time coming because we're more than half. We're way towards the end. Yeah. Okay. So... Right here in front of your card, you have the Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, and then behind that, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and then behind that, you have the Two of Swords, someone not seeing something. And that goes back to, remember, when we had the Moon card, you see how she's looking up at the Moon, she's looking up towards it, but she's blindfolded. A lot of you guys don't see something coming in, for sure. You definitely don't see anything, something specific coming in, because with the Nine of Wands, you have a lot of Eight energy here also. When I say a lot, I'm picking up something with August as well. I did pick that up in the beginning because you have the nine of wands, but if you notice, he's holding ninth wand behind him, there's eight. And then you have the eight of pentacles. So you may have been with this person for eight plus years if you're already in a relationship. And then for those of you who are single, this person's birth, they could be an August Leo or an August Virgo, your person. Because remember, you did have um, quite a bit of earthy energy here. Now, if you notice this person, again, wounded warrior, but he doesn't look very wounded, does he? If anything, this person's ego is wounded. And it looks like this person has been through a lot, but they're still ready to fight for um, love. And I feel like this is you guys. Even if you don't have fire in your chart, you still may be ready to fight for love, fight for um, growth. You see how these vines are growing up this wine? And if you notice, look how he's holding that wine. Look how you guys are holding your sword. Some of you guys still have a little bit of hope and faith for love. Hoping that it'll work out in your favor. And I'm going to say this again. In the very beginning, did I not mention something with money? You guys have some type of increase. Now, as far as your money, also, you may have had to fight out for a different, um, 
you may have to, it was a, between you and a couple of other people, quite a few people, because you see how these wands are behind him. Some of you guys may have had to beat out some type of competition and work. You put in a lot of time, effort, and energy into whatever it is you do. You see how he has tunnel vision here. And I feel like you may be the one who's going to get this promotion because he's holding that wand. And he's standing in front of those other ones, which means he beat out the competition. A lot of you all are getting ready to beat out the competition, especially with work. With love, I'm not getting that. I'm getting this with, has to do with work because you do have pentacles here. Absolutely. Bottom of the deck. Absolutely. You got the king of swords. Again, kings and queens hold positions of hierarchy and power. They are rulers. They are leaders. So you're going to have people. You're going to go from a position of you being a... Um, I'm hearing hourly worker to salary because you're going to have a position of leadership. People are going to have to come to you. You know, you're going to be the person who's going to be writing people up and things like that. And, and I know that's not just something that you're thinking about, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm seeing this sword because, you know, swords are communication and mental. I'm seeing this sword right here is it's like transforming into a pen. Some of you guys are signing contracts also. I really feel like a lot of this has to do with work. I know this is love reading, but with work, you guys are signing contracts, signing paperwork for a new position. I'm going to say also because you have been through some heavy things in love, especially if you are single, because you've been heavy things in love, you threw a lot of your time, effort, and energy into your work life. And you have accomplished something major because of it. It's part of the deck. I told you, did I say a lot of eight stuff? So you have the nine of wands behind him. There's eight wands. Then you have the eight of pentacles, and I got the eight of cups. I'm telling you, a lot of you all are moving into um, moving away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling because cups is the emotions and feelings. So you walked out of a situation and walked straight into the money. Look at that. That's what I feel like a lot of you all are thinking about right now. Anyway, is your finances. It's like if you feel as though love is not going your way, look. <laughs> Queen of cups in reverse. And this is your energy cups. If you felt like love was not going your way, now you're walking in a different direction. You're focused on your finances, especially for those of you who are single. Even if you are in a relationship already and you're not happy there, you may be picking up more hours at work. Focusing, like, work could be your second home. Yeah, your home away from home. Bottom of the deck, you have a... <laughs> You have the Eight of Pentacles up right here and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And I just said home away from home. That place ain't your damn home. Go home, y'all. If if you are in a relationship, go your ass home to your partner. But, again, I feel like also what they're trying to warn you of is not to um, overexert yourself by just focusing so much on your finances. Because whatever it is, you already got a position. You already, you're granted some type of position that's coming in for you. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're in a relationship... And you're, you know, keeping yourself busy with work. It could be having a negative effect. Because the, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in the work and things working. And reverse something that's not working. So if your idea about keeping the peace or staying away from drama with your person is by working yourself to death. It's like that's only creating a bigger wedge is what I'm getting there. Okay. Let's get a clarify for the Nine of Wands. The Scorpio. And I almost said Libra. So some of you guys are definitely doing with Libra. Look at that. I told you, I told you, if you're going to work, it's counterproductive. If you're going to work a lot just so that you cannot have to deal with home because home life isn't making you happy, it's going to be counterproductive. Because Six of Pentacles is someone feeling breadcrumb. Like your person may feel as though you are breadcrumbing them. I'm telling you, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. They feel as though you're breadcrumbing them. You're not letting them in because if you notice, he's standing in front of his doorway, which means he's denying access to someone. This person feels like they don't know you anymore. Or you may feel like this about them. Right up under that, you have the three of wands looking towards the future. Somebody's questioning the future of this relationship if you're in a relationship. And then also, if you are single, your future looks very bright. Something amazing is coming in. Money and love. Bottom of the deck. Wow, look at all this three. Three of wands, three of swords reverse. Again, you all are coming out of heartbreak. And that's what's going to allow you. Yeah, okay. So also going back to what I was saying, working a lot for a lot of you all, especially if you're single, that's what's helping you not focus on the heartbreak. And then also, again, if you're in a relationship, be mindful. Okay? Because I want you to notice you have three of swords here. And right by this person who's being breadcrumb, there's one, two, three pentacles. So this person is going to feel like you put this job before them. And this, this, this job is a third party. I know it's a job because there's pentacles there. So it's like someone feels as though you are making your 
your job is the third party that's coming in between the two of you all. And it's like, even though you are a provider or you may have be well off financially, something is in balance. This is creating imbalance here. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for the eight of pentacles. Okay. Two of pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Two of pentacles. You keep getting all a lot of mirroring numbers. Two of pentacles reverse, two of swords reverse. Two of numerology talks about balance. Something's definitely not balanced. Okay. You have both of these twos in reverse. And then right here you have these two scales. And somebody's being breadcrumbs. Something is not being balanced. So I'm gonna say again, um, if you are in a relationship, this person feels like things are not being balanced here. And if you are single, again, you may be throwing your time, effort, and energy into working so that you don't have to think about heartbreak. But they're telling you also balance out your time and your energy because you may be draining yourself emotionally because water talks about emotions and feelings. Because like even though you're working so you don't have to deal with it or think about it, this is also an energy of avoidance. When you're putting your energy, when you're having tunnel vision or something else, you're not allowing other areas to be healed. So they're telling you to be mindful about that as well. Let's see what's at the bottom here. Still, yeah. So they're telling you, yeah, you may be trying to come out of heartbreak, but something is not balance here. You know, you can't throw yourself into work just thinking about it. This is like a double-edged sword because it's like, yeah, if you throw yourself into it, that's what's getting you this promotion because you've been so busy, so focused on work life that you're really excelling, you're really standing out to employers. But it's also not allowing you to balance your everyday life as far as your emotions are standing. So be mindful about that as well, okay? Yeah. Also, for some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, this person may feel as though you may be saying that you're going to work, but there's another person. Because if you notice here, there's a new ship coming in as an old relationship is going out. So somebody could be feeling like, you are going to work or you're saying you're going to work, but it's actually you're out dealing with someone else. Like if you're saying you're picking up more hours, like you're doing overtime, your person may not believe you. They they feel like you're breadcrumbing them and you're entertaining somebody else. That's what I'm getting there. Okay. But I'm going to say again, huh, be alive. That's I'm hearing that song. Some of you guys working makes you feel alive. You a lot of you guys could be going into a season where you're doing work that makes you feel alive. In other words, something that makes you feel as though you are you have a purpose. This is what your work is doing for you. Because that 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 relationship was making you feel like you didn't have purpose, like somebody didn't appreciate you, like they were breadcrumbing you. And work is making you feel alive. Because I'm hearing the, the the intro to the Be Alive song again. Yeah, most definitely there. Okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising to Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.